Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition affecting more than 10,000 people in the UK. One in 25 of us carries the faulty gene that causes it, usually without even knowing. Those affected experience a build-up of thick, sticky mucus in their lungs and other organs, meaning that they struggle with reduced lung function and often need to take more than 50 tablets a day. And with the 23rd of June designated as Wear Yellow Day, I went to meet Mikey and his mum, who are using their story to raise awareness of the condition. At a little over three weeks old, Mikey was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, and a year later he's a happy little boy, and he and his mum are using their experience to raise awareness of the condition. I got a phone call um, on the morning of the 11th of May 2016 um, from one of the nurses at the hospital, and basically they said that me and Mikey's dad needed to go down to the hospital that day. And they wouldn't tell me why, they just said that I needed to go down there, the consultant would explain everything. They told us that in his blood spot test it had come back that he had two of the genetic um, mutations that um, are for CF and we were just in tears. We never even heard of cystic fibrosis, we didn't know what it was, we didn't know that me and my husband had the genes that we would need to pass on for him to even have it. He doesn't look any different to any normal child, it is an invisible illness. Um, but when he wakes up in the morning he has to have um, a few different medications that he'll be on for the rest of his life. He has to have his PEP mask which he has twice a day. He has to have medication every with every meal that he eats um, or any drink like a milkshake, anything that has fat in it. And things like you have to be really careful with him playing outside in wet sand or wet um, mud, anything like that, because it can really affect him with um, infections. It can be quite it can be quite dangerous for him. Basically, he doesn't know any different at this point, and neither do we, which is great because it's our he's our only child. Part of the awareness that Kaylee is involved with is campaigning for new treatments to be made available. Uh, so Monday, me and some of the other mums are going up to London. Uh, we're going to protest outside Westminster. They are for a new drug called Orcambi which um, is a breakthrough precision um, medicine which can really help people with cystic fibrosis um, and it's going to benefit around 40% of people with CF. It does cost a lot of money but you can't really put a price on a child's life. I appreciate there are budget restrictions and things but these are our children's lives and if there's a drug out there that can help make a difference then they should really have it. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence has said it will not be able to recommend or can be for treating cystic fibrosis. Or can be costs £104,000 per patient for every year of treatment. It is licensed to treat people who have a specific genetic defect. And there are around 2,750 people who would be eligible for treatment with Orcambi in England. Professor Carol Longson, speaking in 2016, said, We know how important a new treatment option would be for people with cystic fibrosis. But for the benefits it offers, the cost of Orcambi is too high. We can only recommend treatments when we are certain they are both clinically effective and represent good value for money. If the company is able to put forward a proposal that provides Orcambi at a cost-effective price, we would welcome commit. And Kaylee has set up a Facebook page for people to keep up with Mikey's progress. We set that up um, a couple of days after Mikey was diagnosed um, in the aim to uh, raise money for the Cystic Fibrosis Trust to help with research. They help with travel insurance, um, they write letters in, um, in different languages for us, they help us with um, marketing materials and also posting out events as well on Facebook that we're doing for fundraising. Um, they've been, you know, they're literally at the end of the phone. We can ring with any sort of question. <laughs> we've raised um, over £10,000. Tonight we've got the, the second Wear Yellow race night. It's raising the awareness, not necessarily asking for donations, but for people to notice that we're wearing yellow and to actually look up what cystic fibrosis is. Um, because it's, it's a bit more common, I think, than people realise. We just post updates of Mikey and what he's doing on a regular basis to raise awareness. And as I say, we've got his Just Giving page that we've raised lots of money up um, on as well. So just uh, to tell the world about what it is and to show that although it's, you know, it's a chronic illness, as you said, it's not stopping him, it's, um, it's invisible, but this is what we do behind closed doors. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV. I love your thumb, don't you?